Okay, in this video, we're going to solve this problem right here, and we're going to use the elimination method. And so let's begin. So if you notice, this is a 3x, this is a negative x, this is a 2y, this is a 4y. So we have two options. Do we want to eliminate x, or do you want to eliminate y? Both scenarios, you're only going to have to manipulate one term. I'm going to go ahead and choose to manipulate this piece. I'm going to multiply it by 3. And if I multiply it by 3, this piece becomes negative 3x. And this is 3x. And so they're the opposites. So let's do that. And then this piece, we'll keep it the same. We'll say times 1. So we're going to get 3x plus 2y is equal to 7. Now this piece, negative x times 3 is going to give us negative 3x. 4y times 3 is going to give us positive 12y is equal to negative 7 times 3 is going to give us negative 21. And we're about to see why this is called elimination method. So we're going to add these two pieces. 3x minus 3x, it cancels out, gets eliminated. 2y plus 12y is going to give us 14y is equal to negative 21 plus 7 is negative 14. So it's saying 14 times y is equal to negative 14. If you want to get rid of this 14, you need to divide by 14, divide by 14. And so we're going to get y is equal to negative 1. So we have one answer, but we also need to get x. So we can choose. We can either choose the first equation or the second equation. I'm going to go ahead and choose the first equation. So we have 3x plus, I know y, y is negative 1. So I'm going to replace y with negative 1 is equal to 7. So now we're going to expand. So 3x, 2 times negative 1 is going to give us negative 2 is equal to 7. So we need to get the opposite of negative 2. So we'll add 2 on both sides, add 2 on both sides. And so 3x is equal to 9. And so it's saying 3 times x. So I'm going to divide by 3, divide by 3. And so x is going to equal to 3. So now we have x and y. Now, it's always a good idea to go ahead and check. So 3 times 3 gives you 9. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. 9 minus 2 is 7. We'll try the second one. Negative 3 plus 4 times negative 1, so negative 4. So negative 3 minus 4 is negative 7, and so that's correct. Now, in the description box of this video, there are two playlists. One playlist has categorized systems of equation problems, and the other playlist has random uncategorized problems. And that's pretty much it.